Cool. So Lou Tykonovich, 1944, Thanksgiving Day, 0-0 tie, tight end for the Potters. He, of course, went into the Navy. We get through the war years. It's now 1952. Wade Watts is the coach. Lou Holtz is on the team, gets into the game because of the 60-some points put up on the board. Talk to me about Wade Watts and his everlasting imprint on Potter football decades later that obviously you're thinking about going into this game Friday against Wellsville. Well, Wade Watts was a very uh, uh, strong-willed person, graduate of one of the finest colleges in the country, Baltimore Wallace, where his father coached. And uh, they brought him here. Our program was in disruption. Uh, we had two coaches. Uh, one quit in the middle of the season. And uh, Wade came in and revolutionized everything. And his father and Paul Brown were very close friends. And so Wade sort of worshipped at the foot of Paul Brown because he'd come to their house for dinner, et cetera. But uh, he really revolutionized the program and uh, turned it around and had, a, of course, at the conclusion of four years, he got the job at Kenton at Kenton. We'll come back one more. They stop it in 64, and they're about ready to play it again. 55 years and 28 days later this Friday night. Stick with us.